Hello painters and welcome to another episode of Mansions of Madness. Today I'm going to be painting a oft-requested miniature, Rita Young. It's a relatively simple miniature. There's really just her clothing, which is really only going to be two-toned, and then her skin. I primed the figure using Xenothal highlighting, but of course if you wanted to make it a little bit easier, you could just prime the entire figure in white. Alright, so let's get started. First things first, right off the bat, we're going to be using Gorthor Brown for the skin. For her uniform, socks, and shoes, I painted them in Euthoron Gray. There's a sash that runs around her, and for that I use Cantor Blue. For the hair, I use German Grey. And already we can get into the washes. For the flesh, I use Reichland Flesh Aid. This isn't going to do a whole lot, but it will darken it just slightly. As for her uniform, socks, and shoes, For the hair, I use pure non oil. I used one part non oil mixed with four parts of Lamian medium. This is going to give you a very thin wash, which when you highlight this uniform, it'll be much easier to get back up to a pure white or at least a Thurian gray. And then I hit the sash with Drakenhof Nightshade. Now before we get too far, I tackled the eyes at this point. I used ivory for the whole of the eye and then dabbed them with a little bit of German gray right in the center. Now if you mess up like I did, I actually hit the skin with ivory. Don't worry too much about it, you can always go over it again with Gorthor Brown or just highlight right over it. And at this point I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the skin. I'm going to do several stages of highlight, starting with Gorthor Brown mixed with Cadian Flesh Tone. I am going to cover pretty much all of the skin with this tone, leaving just kind of the spaces between the knuckles, perhaps the armpits, the original Gorthor Brown. Next up, we're going to do Gorthor Brown mixed with Kislev Flesh. And at this point, we're going to focus on the much more exposed areas. Her shoulders, the exposed knee, the back of the right leg, her forehead, her nose, the chin. And finally, we're going to use Borthor Brown mixed with Flayed One's Flesh. I did this in about two stages. I mostly used it to hit the top of the right shoulder, right around her knuckles, 
the tip of the left knee and just a little bit on the back of the right leg. And then brighten this mix just a little bit more with flayed one flesh once again. And then repeated the same spots, but just making it slightly smaller. I went over most of the sash with Prussian blue. And then adding white to Prussian blue, I just hit a few areas, especially the top of the sash and the bit running down her back with increasing shades of lighter blue. I added white to my blue about three times. You can then tackle the uniform at this point. And I just used the pure white and pretty much went over most of the uniform, trying to leave the recesses shaded and maybe anything that didn't quite get as much light a little bit darker white. At this point, I decided to add a little bit of details to her socks and shoes. I used Prussian blue once again. On the socks, you can see a line that runs right around near the top of the socks. I colored this with our Prussian blue, being careful as much as possible to stay within the lines. I also went ahead and made the soles of the shoes and the edge right around the bottom, this also Prussian blue. Finally, I hit the hair with just a little bit of highlights. With our German gray, I added a little bit of white and just hit the hair basically where you could kind of see it, especially on the top. And finally, without doing anything too fancy, the bases is normal. I'm just going to paint it Mechanicus Standard Gray. And that does it for this painting video. And that does it for this painting video. Rita Young was a pretty simplistic model. I'm going to knock out a few simplistic monsters coming up. Of course, if you have any requests in the meantime, please leave your request in the comments below. Also, to, to let you know with the channel, you can come check out some live streams. On Instagram, every once in a while, I'm going to be live streaming some painting sessions. Not necessarily painting sessions that I'm always going to do a video for. It might just be miniatures I'm painting at the time. Uh, I don't really have a set schedule for live streaming at the moment, so it's kind of just touch and go. But as I get it more solidified, I will definitely let everybody know. Also here on the channel itself and also the Twitch channel, I'll be live streaming mostly some digital board game type stuff right now. I might branch out and do some other stuff as time goes on. Again, no set, set schedule at the moment, but you know, feel free to stop by, say hi, and just kind of hang out for a little while. Otherwise, I will see you next painting video. Bye. If you enjoyed this painting video and like to see more, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below with either your request for this game or request for another game. I'd be happy to take any into consideration.